We hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's Patrick, and today on We Geek, I'm going to talk a little bit about organizing your designs in Cafe Press using the Image Basket. So I've already showed you in a previous video how you can use the the My Design section of Cafe Press to upload your designs and get them on the products. But once you start getting a lot of designs up there, it can get a little tricky to to keep things organized. So I'm going to show you how to use the Image Basket in Cafe Press to keep those images organized. And to get to your image basket, you'll mouse over your name here in your dashboard. Come down to this one and click Shops. And that opens up an older menu we used to use all the time working on stuff here at Cafe Press. Um, this has since been replaced or superseded by the dashboard and, and this menu up here. But all these links, or most of these links, are still pretty decent. So to get to the image basket, you're going to mouse over Media Basket here. And you'll see three options. Audio basket and document basket, you can disregard. Those are no longer used. These were used for back when Cafe Press sold CDs and, and books and things, but you're not using these anymore. Just image basket. So you want to click on that. And that brings up the designs and images image basket. And from here, you can upload a new design into your designs just like you normally would. Just clicking on this it takes you to the My Designs page. When you're done, it will take you back to your, your image basket rather than to the My Designs section. And because this is an older section of the website that Cafe Press really hasn't kept up with all that much since changing to the dashboard format, some of the things in here are weird. Some of the buttons are different sizes. Sometimes these, these headers don't quite match up. They don't quite line up and they, they get hidden underneath some of these banners and things. So if, if things look a little weird, it still works. It's just not quite gotten the love from Cafe Press that other spots on the site have. So the cool thing about working in the image basket is you can add folders to help you organize your, your designs into different sections. And you'd see those folders listed here. You'll see there's a couple down here that are generated by Cafe Press when you do custom designs and, and use their uh, create and list options to do stuff. You can ignore any of these that have already been created, just leave them there. And then you'll also see a few entries depending on how many images you've uploaded already that shows the images you uploaded from the last five dates, I think is how far it goes back. So no matter how far back that is, it shows you the last five times you uploaded a batch of images. So you can see here, I've got images from the beginning of March, the beginning of February, and the beginning of January. And if you were to click on those, you'd see what the image was. It would show you down here, and then you can see in February is when I uploaded my exclamation points and stuff. So, but from this, you can add your own folders to organize these things by clicking this Edit Folders link right here. So you simply click that. You'll see a list of all the existing folders here, how many images are in there, how, how big the, all those images are, and then the option to rename or delete those particular image folders. And you can see here how this goes up underneath the banner because it doesn't quite match up. They haven't styled this page very well. But even though that kind of thing happens out here, you can ignore it. It still works fine. So say you want to add a new folder to organize your stuff. You can just type the folder name here. I would recommend not using any special characters. Uh, sometimes that messes things up when you go to delete things or edit them later. So just stick with, with letters, numbers, spaces, that kind of thing. So put in the name and hit Add. And now you've got a new folder here that you can upload designs to. So I'm just going to go back to the image basket here, clicking this link. And then if I click on WeGeek in the drop down, you see there's nothing in here yet. But now if I click Upload New Image, I'm just going to upload some samples here real quick. I'm just going to grab a couple of these cell phone cases that I did for Star Trek. Because I know they're smaller files. And see, this is the same page as the, the My Designs upload page. It'll go through and show you the thumbnails, and then you get the opportunity to name, tag, and, and describe each of your images. And for now, I'm just going to do something quick as a test, because I just want to show you this stuff real quick. Just put in test and a tag, because I think those are required fields for this. Got everything checked here. Save my eight designs. And now you see I've got them all here in my WeGeek folder. So if I were to switch this to say this custom product designs, which I don't think has anything in it. There's nothing there. And back to WeGeek. Now I've got them organized in there. And these do still show up in your My Designs section. So if I were to come to here, click My Designs, 
there's the designs I just uploaded and I can come through here and do the same thing I would do with my other designs in terms of resizing them or editing them to change the names and tags and things like that. But now I'm going to go back to the media basket here, the image basket. And this is like a root folder. If you just upload something here now, they'll show up here. Let's see, real quick, add something just to show you. Type in a name. Oops, save. Type in a tag. Save that. So now there's like, this is like in the root folder of your image basket, whereas WeGeek only contains those red ones I uploaded. And when it comes to adding folders into the image basket, you can add as many as you like, but you can't nest them at all. So there's no way to add subfolders to any of these. So you can't, it's all like one layer. You've got your root folder, which is the image basket, and then these folders, and that's as far out as you can go, unfortunately. But to help you keep things organized, what you can do is give them similar names so they stay alphabetically because I believe these are sorted alphabetically by default. So say you're doing a bunch of holiday designs for different holidays. I would do holiday Easter, add that, holiday Christmas, holiday St. Patrick's. Oops, click add. So that kind of thing. So that way they'll sort in order so you'll know, okay, if I scroll down here eventually, I've got pages of this in my other account. You'll scroll down and there's, okay, here's all my holidays. Here's the one that I need. So that's a good way to keep things organized. If you name your files properly as you're going along, helps to keep track of things. And if for some reason you type the name in incorrectly, you can come over here and click rename. And that'll bring you to the rename folder page here where you'll see the current name of the folder listed there. And then you can type in the new one, St. Patrick's. And I believe apostrophe is one of the marks you can put in here. I know from experience with my logo having an exclamation point, it does not like exclamation points in these names. So try and keep those out of there. And then click save, save it. So there's the new name saved. And if you don't want these folders, just click the delete icon It'll ask you for a confirmation and just go ahead and delete them like that. All right, so what can you do with the image basket besides upload and, and group your designs? Well, you can easily delete whole sections of designs, check the ones you want to delete, do the drop down, click remove images. It'll ask you for a confirmation. Are you sure you want to remove these images? And you would click yes. Now this works a little differently than the My Designs page. If you delete a design from My Designs, it'll inform you that if you delete this, any products with this design will also be removed. In the case of the image basket, it'll have a different line here showing you that there are design or there are products with this design on it, so it will not be deleted. So you have to go through and delete the products first and then come in here and delete the image. And again, if you don't want to do that, you can just go to My Designs and delete the, the images. So I just click Yes to delete, and they're gone. From here, you can update the tags and the details. This takes you back to the Edit Design page. You can delete individual images by clicking the Delete link here. It'll do ask for the confirmation again, say yes. Uh, this down here is for background colors. If you have transparent images, let's go to one of my old designs. Oh, and you'll see here now that I've uploaded those other designs, it's showing today I uploaded five new designs. So I can see all of those, no matter what folder they're in, by clicking on that. Let's say I want to look at one of my old Wee Geek designs here. We'll look at this winged one. Now, what these used to do is they would show you your image on a transparent background, a white background, and a black background. This doesn't work anymore, um, hasn't worked in forever, and we have no idea when or if they're going to fix it, so just ignore this little thing right here. And while I'm here, I'm going to show you another thing. So these aren't currently in any folder, and they're not in my root image basket either, but I want to put them in my WeGeek folder. So since they're still showing up here in the drop-down from recent images uploads, 
from this page I can select everything and in the drop down move to folder just pick the folder I want to put them in and then click WeGeek it comes back here shows you my images from that same date but now if I come to my WeGeek folder they're all inside of there which is nice so I'm going to delete these sample images real quick check those come to remove images yes I want to delete those now let's say I want to sh I'll show you how this works so if I click this exclamation point you'll see can't be deleted because it's still in use and then it shows you all the different products that that design is listed on so that's why it can't be deleted until I go through and delete all of those all of the products so that's nice it won't let you if you select a whole page of images and try to delete them it'll let you know it's like hey this is already on products don't do this so that's a nice little feature so I'm gonna come back through here and get the rest of my images click on those move them to my WeGeek folder um, I think this one was that's a sample I'm gonna create another folder for sample images or test images so come there add new folder click add test images back to the image basket I'm already on this page select that drop down move to test images now the images are all still going to show up here under these dates because they're not real folders they're they're filters for for recent uploads so these act independently from the actual folders but if I go to my folders and start clicking on things you'll see each of them only contains the images that I added to it and here's a couple things about the folders here that I'm gonna share with you um, I have in my other account I have some of these folders where there's multiple pages and images and I can add some of those test images back in here real quick to show you pages but one thing is I notice is that as you add more images to your image folders they tend to slow things down and can cause problems some of my folders have upwards of 20 pages of designs and it gets kinda wonky at that point so I would recommend not going that high you know limit it to less than 200 images in each folder in your image basket if you have that many split them up a little bit do something different with them okay I've all these loaded and okay, these are all loaded click all test tag 1wg and then we'll save all of those so now we're in the image basket and it puts the most recent upload first so you can see here here's the the pages I'm on page one so the first one shown is the last one that was uploaded and now I can click to page two take me to that page and then page three so trying like I said try and keep this under 20 pages if you can um, one other thing I've noticed occasionally is coming through here when you only have two pages worth of designs sometimes it gets stuck and it won't display the second page and you can't get to those designs here I tried deleting one because I think that's all there was one on the third page so I'll delete this one now I've got two pages I don't know if this is gonna work or not okay in this case it worked sometimes it doesn't sometimes I can't get to the second page I'm not sure what the issue is but in that case I just upload a couple of test images like I showed you and then you can easily get to that page make whatever changes you want and then quickly delete the designs that really don't matter to you actually I'm gonna do this and come to page one because I know I want all of them gone click all click delete remove images yes and then these three and remove images yes okay that's pretty much it for working with the image basket um, like I said it's a nice way to keep your designs organized unfortunately we can't go more than than one layer one folder out of the image basket but you can still by naming your folders in a consistent way more easily keep track of, of where you have put your designs and, and what you're working on at the time so I hope this information helped if you learned something from the video please give me a, th a like and click the thumbs up button down below and if you haven't already please subscribe for more videos about cafe press and other fun geeky stuff and until next time what's your way Thank you.